Hi everyone, my name is Jay. I am the instructor of ACT English at JMB Online Prep. And I'm gonna give you some sample lecture for about five questions on ACT English. Okay, let's take a look at question number 31. You have to admire the honesty of a company whose slogan is just about the best. Okay, this question is about the usage of the relative pronoun whose. Okay, what is whose with the apostrophe? This is same thing as who is. So if you read the sentence, you have to admire the company of a company who is slogan is just about the best. Obviously, this is wrong. If you go with the answer choice B, whose, this whose is something like a there or his. It's a possessive case of the relative pronoun. So if you read it, their slogan is just about the best. That makes sense. So B is the correct answer. If you go with C, that is slogan is, obviously this is wrong. If you, uh, let's take a look at the answer choice D as well. That the slogan is just about the best. If you want to make a sentence like this, uh, prior before that, there should be a verb, like a believe, claim, but there is no verb. Uh, there's a noun, a company. So this uh, relative pronoun that is used incorrect. So the answer for question number 31 is B, whose? Let's, uh, let's move on to question number 32. Glory Foods president and founder Bill Williams explains the unusual slogan by admitting that blah, 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 blah. Okay, this question is about the punctuation, specifically the commas. When you see a punctuation in the underlying portion, uh, usually that is the point, that is the purpose of the question. Here, we have to make sure uh, these both uh, commas were used correctly. Okay, one simple rule is, you know, in the sentence, you know, I use the symbol S to uh, stand for subject and verb, a V as a verb. Okay, between subject and verb, you can put either no commas or you have to put two commas. If you have only one of them, it is incorrect because comma tends to break the flow of the sentence. If you ha have to break the flow, you have to put two commas. So if you go with the F, glory first president, but the problem is this conjunction and. When you have a conjunction and, if you have two items, uh, here it's like a president and founder. If you have two items, A and B, you are not supposed to put comma in between. So this comma is misused. So basically, F and G have the same problem. So they should be removed. How about H? Glory first president and founder, Bill Williams explains. The problem is the second comma. Between subject and verb, I just mentioned that uh, you cannot place just one comma. So H is incorrect. If you go with J, Glory Foods president founder, Bill Williams, this name is unnecessary because people may know who the president and the founder is. So if you put two commas around the name, it is okay. So the correct answer for question number 32 is J. Let's move on to question number 33. Glory Foods president and founder Bill Williams explains the unusual slogan by admitting that while he knows that his food can be the taste of real home cooking, it does come very close. Okay, when you see pronouns it or they in the underlying portion, the question is asking whether this pronoun is used correctly. And we have to see uh, whether this one is correct. What does it refers to? It refers to his food. So it is plural. And we cannot use singular form of pronoun it with the his food. So A is incorrect. If you go with B, it is also incorrect. If you choose C, they do come very close. They refer to his food. So it's okay. What about D? 
and that they here we don't need this relative uh the conjunction and, and we don't need this that either this is too many conjunctions so the correct answer is c let's take a look at question number 34. even as a child Williams loved to prepare food, and as a young adult, he refined his cooking skills at the prestigiously acclaimed Culinary Institute of America. Okay, he refined his cooking skills. Is this correct? Yeah, it seems fine. How about G? His cooking skills were refined. You know, ACT is asking which one is better answer. You know, both F and G make sense, but F is he refined his cooking skills, it is active. But if you go with G, his cooking skills were refined. This is passive. If you have to make a choice between active voice and passive voice, you gotta go with active. So G is incorrect. How about H? His skills in cooking was refined, another passive voice. How about J? The refinement of his cooking skills occur. Uh, we don't explain it like this. This is too uh, worthy. So it is correct. So correct answer for question number 34 is F. The last question of the day, number 35. He refined his cooking skills at the prestigiously acclaimed Culinary Institute of America. Okay, what about this? Acclaimed and prestigiously, they are somewhat redundant. So A is kind of question. We put question marks. How about B, fame, renowned, and notable? They are all the same. So it is redundancy. So we don't choose this. Lucius, the definition, definition is wrong. How about prestigious? At the prestigious Colony Institute of America. Yeah, this is more concise. So the correct answer for question number 35 is D. Okay, this will be the end of the sample lecture.